Many of us are wondering just how much longer the COVID restrictions will last. But that's definitely true at Waldemere Park, where preparations for a new season have abruptly stopped. Samir Nefsi joins us now in the studio after speaking with the park's owner, Samir. Yeah, Sean, for over 100 years, Waldemere has been the place to go and have fun each season, bringing at least one new attraction. However, for the first time in history, the owner says they are unsure when the park will reopen due to the pandemic. We've never had anything like this at all. The 2020 Waldemere season was shaping to be a splash of a time with the unveiling of six new water slides, a new family ride by the name of Whirlwind, and a gourmet popcorn stand. But the Commonwealth's shutdown of all non-life-sustaining business has left the park at a standstill. Park owner Paul Nielsen saying the loss of revenue will ultimately cost the park millions. It will cost us, myself personally, 40% of five million bucks. Two million dollars. Within the park gates, all three new projects must still be completed. And looking at this field of water slide pieces, you might think it's going to take months before Waldemere can finish their construction, but we're told it's only going to take about three weeks to complete. Along with the construction, park president Steve Gorman says that he still needs to hire their 600 plus staff to operate the park. The uncertainty is the biggest problem because you just don't know what tomorrow will bring and how many more weeks we have to wait before we can continue on with our life and our business. On average, the park is open for about 100 days out of the year, leaving them with a small margin of time to open for operation. Nelson believes the shutdown will have a major impact on Erie summer attractions. You're going to see an awful lot of, of uh, family businesses just go bankrupt here in our town. We have quite a few restaurants and quite a few stores that are empty already. And the owner already says he has canceled advertising for the month of May. Now, both guys say they uh, look forward to the park opening sometime this summer, especially with it being uh, the big 5-0 for the Wacky Shack. Sean? So many other people hoping they can op open up, too. Thank you, Samir.